All right, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm back at it again. Finally got the last piece that would stop me from starting the Miata. All I needed was a 90 degree two inch uh, silicone coupler. I had to wait on to get it through Amazon because my kit didn't have one. I had two, I really needed another one with how I'm running my intercooler piping. You guys may not need it, but I know that I do. Um, I'm also gonna have to cut a little bit of the intercooler piping as well, make it a little shorter so that it doesn't rub on the tire. Uh, I'll show you guys how it's all going to happen, but um, should be able to start the Miata today and I'm really excited because I was in a rush to get it done for a drift event a little while ago and it never happened. I spent all day trying to work on it and I just knew I wouldn't get it done in time. So now I'm going to take my time with it and get it done right. So I'll show you a little bit of things that I got done that I didn't record. Alright, so some of the things that got done that I didn't manage to record was I installed my FMU or adjustable fuel pressure regulator. This one is from Beggy. As you can see over here, the eye fell off, but I got it used because it was a uh, refurbished part that someone sent back in that they didn't need anymore because they went mega squirt. So they gave me a good deal on it. So I got this all lined up. It's not over here where it normally would go because it won't fit back here due to my ABS module. Not everyone has this issue because not everyone has the ABS on their Miata. Um, honestly, I kind of wish I didn't. It's not really necessary. But um, that's why I have it over here. I have it mounted to where I'm using the tower bolt to hold it down. It's nice and solid. And then on top of that, I also got an oil change done. Got my own little ghetto fill, uh, funnel right there. Uh, let's see, got the water lines ran, as you can see from the turbo. Got those ran right in where they're supposed to go. One right down here, one right here. And then let's see, I got a little cone filter on there. Um, coming around over here. Sorry about the mess. Gonna have to make a jump. I got the feed running back behind here and all the way down. Got the drain coming from right here. Going down there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard. Uh, let's see. What else did I get done? My brother Kyle. He's the one with the welder. He knows what he's doing more than I do, but we still don't really know what we're doing, let's face it. Got this two inch, two and a half inch exhaust welded up. Got the bungs welded in for the O2 sensors. One's for a wide band, one's for my regular O2. It's gonna sit right here. It's gonna come straight out the hood. Gotta save some money on that manifold. I mean, not the manifold, the downpipe, you know what I mean? All right guys, so I installed the Mishimoto. Uh, it's a 90 degree, two and a half to two and a half. And then I also have a two and a half inch charge pipe for the blow off valve right here, which is gonna go right down in here and point that way with the blow off valve. And then it's gonna go from a two and a half to a two inch. And then I got two inch piping all the way to the turbo. I, I wish I went two and a half, but I didn't look at the, the intercooler kit properly online and I got two and I just said, screw it. So I'm gonna roll with it. And um, it's a little less airflow, so I won't be getting as much power as I wanted but it's better than not having uh, intercooler at all. Oh, okay, well there it is in there now. There it is from below, right? Right there. All right, now here's the reducer we're gonna use. So, we got the two and a half inch right here, got a clamp on it, two inch right here, to go the rest of the intercooler piping, and this is gonna go on the blow-off valve charge pipe. Now from here, Gonna have to get a little creative. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna just figure it out as I go. If you can't find the right size, just use a good old adjusty wrench. So I'm gonna use two of these from the turbo, that's the plan right now. I gotta see where it's gonna come from this side and see how it lines up. All right guys, so we ran into a little bit of an issue. When I had it running the original way, it was hanging just a little bit too low. So now we're gonna be running a different pipe from, we got the charge pipe, 
And then after the charge pipe, we got a shorter 90 degree. It's not as aggressive and it's coming out a little bit at an angle. So what we're gonna do is that's on a 90 degree. Now I'm gonna cut this pipe right here because it's extra. I'm gonna cut it about the length of this, so maybe about four inches. And then I'm gonna use a straight coupler, so I'm gonna put this into the 90. Then I put a straight coupler here, and this goes into the intercooler. And that will put the intercooler center in this gap right here, the little smiley face like everyone knows where everyone normally puts it on a Miata. And then it should run into my original plan over here. I'm still gonna have to cut this pipe a little bit shorter, but it's gonna look mad when it's done. Did you click it? Click what? The record button. Oh yeah. I can't yeah. hear anything. You know what's not lame? Safety. Eh, uh, that seems about right. That's some precise metal. Seems about right. Looks right pretty good. You have to just grind down the edges. Yeah, just gotta clean it up. Should be nice. I said that looks pretty good. Yep, I'm just making sure there's no metal shavings because I don't want them in my uh, intercooler piping. Yeah, that would be bad. You don't want that flying into your engine. Looks good. Cool. Put it on. All right, so we got some of this flexible uh, steel that we're gonna make into our own little custom brackets. We call it our universal bracket because we use it for everything. You can kind of bend it by hand. It's strong, but it's weak enough you can bend it easily by hand. So it's gonna easily form to whatever shape I need it, which is great for this because it's strong enough to hold that. And uh, let's get to it. Well, and luckily you can get them in Lowe's for like five bucks for that something too. that size. Because this is a budget build, we wanna keep it cheap. Yep. Nice. So what's next on the list? Gauges and O2 sensors. Just so that I know what my AFR is and what I'm running boost so I can make sure it doesn't blow up on me when we're just trying to test it. Well that would be important. So I know that if it's boosting too much and something's not working properly to control it. Alright, it's all in. Hi. Intake. And this is a little low in my opinion, but want them facing down because we don't want things going if we sit like that. Water could get in, other foreign debris or something, so we want it going down. Makes Don't sense. we all? I knew you'd get there somehow, some of the I'm a little slow. But you still got there. Yeah, eventually. Just like every Miata. Slight suggestion to anybody watching this, you might want to attach your blow up valve before you install your intake pipe, just saying. You know, just saying. Okay, Mr. Captain, <laughs> Captain, uh... Hey, hey, hindsight's 22, or 2020. <laughs> Why was I thinking 22? Because uh, it feels like a perfect What's night. What's 22? Dress up like hipsters, make fun of our exes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that how that goes? <laughs> that's Taylor Swift, that's T-Swizzle. Oh. Step why this is not permanent. This is a temporary. We just wanted to see if it'll start and make any kind of boost at all. Curious. So, do you think it's going to shoot flames? I hope. Well, I hope not, because at least not right now, because you're just going to burn the house down. <laughs> That's a good point. No, it won't be that bad. We got fire extinguishers. Okay. Calm down, Mr. Excited Pants. He's so excited, he just can't sit still. He's like, oh my god, I just wanna start this bench. Uh I need to tighten this down. See what happens. It's either gonna work or it's gonna oh, not man. work. 
Don't let it run super long because what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're not leaking. So don't go revving it up right away. I, I want to make sure that we're not leaking nothing, but let's get the first fire up here. I'm gonna let the oil, uh... wow, you weren't kidding me so good. Yeah, don't move them too much. They're gonna shut off. I know, I'm trying to see the boost uh, mount. Okay, so I'm gonna let it prime for a second. Hello. Hi. All right, Almost so excited. you ready to do it? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Go for it. Why isn't the fuel pump priming? I don't hear it. Is is your fuel pump hooked up? Yes. I hear the relay going click 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 click. No, we'll find out. One second. All right, ready? First start. Let's do this. Oh, that clutch is so stiff. Come on, let's see what happens. Does it look like I'm leaking anywhere? Well, let's, let's see. Can't be making too much more noise yeah. this late. Fuel leak. <sighs> that might be why it was running lean. Where's it coming from? This one? This, this one's right there. Okay. But hey, it started. I am, I am. I am, I am. Hmm. Sounded good too. All right, well, it's time to call it a night. We, I guess you can call it a success. I mean, we got the, Exhaust on there, O2 sensors, gauges. I mean, they're kind of temporary right now. They're not fully installed. They're just there so that we can kind of tune it and get it ready. Um, we have a little bit of an issue um, on the bottom of the, f the turbo where the oil drain line goes. I have a leak from the fitting. On top of that, we also have a leak at the um, adjustable field pressure regulator. That is just the line. I just need to recut it and not tighten it down so hard because I tightened it too hard where it cut the hose. And then on top of that, we need to figure out why it's running lean. It's running super lean right now. We're talking 17, 18, and um, we just need to figure out the problem. I had a problem with the car before we did the turbo where it was having a fuel starvation issue, but I figured that fixing the injectors, we pretty much fixed injectors, fuel pump, fuel filter, so pretty much everything with the lines, and we're still having the same issue. So we really need to figure out what the problem is there, and then that should fix our starvation issue. I mean, and the car, I mean, looks pretty good right now. So, I mean, it's a little ghetto, like with all this going on here. And over there, got the uh, bendy pipe for the air, air fuel meter, air flow meter, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Bless you. Blah. Excuse me. Texas allergies. <laughs> yeah, so we need to eat, and I guess we'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully we can get this thing running well. All right. Oh, we will. We will? You have no For doubts? Sure. No doubt. We always do. That's true. It's just a matter of time. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>